Hi guys, welcome back to Salt and Sanctuary. Um, so following the first episode, um, we obviously beat the what I would call the first proper boss. You have the boss at the start of the game who obviously collapsed me easily, but I imagine he's one of those you'll do for a trophy after you're more familiar with the mechanics of the game. Um, we beat Uryx, the Necklace of the Ear, and we also um, got the grappling hook as a result. So we can now grab this item. If you want to, we can easily travel around the encampment now, which is pretty handy. Just have to remember while you're in midair, you can just easily click to keep getting around. Um, I figured it would probably be a good idea to come back here anyway. It looks like these things have respawned indeed, so that's good. Um, I'm highly doubting that doors will be open. Doors, I imagine, will open as we get more people that we meet that are NPCs that can join the encampment. Your hunt now diverges in Quizzes to two potential marks stand before you, and the choice of which to pursue first is yours. There is a pyromancer called Arzan Tin, who has left a warp mark on reality in Ashbourne Village, a burnt corpse in the gatehouse that suffers still. There is Cryomancer Celus Zend, seek out it and one of its frozen victims, and you'll be put on the right trail. So Ashbourne Village is obviously going to be the one. Even though there's two choices, um, it's obvious that because they mention it first and it's an explicit destination they mention, it's probably going to be the easy one to go for. So with your spell mark, you commune with a mage's victim to reveal the foul creature's path. God be with you, Inquisitor. Champion. I may be a champion Inquisitor, but you know as well as I that rank is nigh meaningless and among marked Inquisitors. I may have some special authorities, but more often than not, my role is like that of a glorified accountant. Nice. If you've already spoken to the room reader, uh, I trust without them, Hardness Veil would not be the strategic bastion it is. I can't fully understand how it works. Um, they claim to hear messages that most cannot. And the messages grow louder and more clear when mages are in anguish. Perhaps some guiding force speaks to Rune Reader Deedala. Perhaps the mages themselves wish to be destroyed. What matters to me is that the messages Rune Reader, uh, Rune Reader Deedala receives bring us close to uh, ridding Al Alterstone Kingdom of mages. Cool. Crime. My crime? A sad one indeed. Stationed in Yerdun during the Great Strife. I never championed the task of protecting some farmers. Carelessly mismanaged a patrol under my watch, leaving the western approach unguarded. Bandits seed, seeds, uh, seized on the Ever. We fought them off, but among those who lost their lives in the raid was a fellow knight, Champion Jayak. Had only peasants lost their lives, there would be no quarrel, but because it was uh, the champion, there was a price to pay. Chose the life of a marked inquisitor because a life in battle is still a fine way to live. Interesting. Rumours. In Ashbourne Village, there is a great gate protecting the Archridge District. You can sneak into it through the Craterstone Mines. Okay. Interesting. I apologise if you can hear a fan. It is very hot in uh, my house right now. <laughs> um, cool. Well, it was good to come back here and um, further talk to people. Um, I wonder if he has anything else further. Yeah, he's talking about Ashbourne Village. So enhance equipment. So we can enhance it using... Uh, we can also do the blindfold back, but hang on, we did our... Yes, we did the Knight's Vanguard for our enhancement first. Uh, with the Ash Pyre we got very early from exploring. We have one, we could do armor, I'm not going to bother. Um, I, I think it would be best to hold on to it for now. I mean, damage is going to be the main thing that will obviously matter in terms of killing a boss for me personally. So, yeah. So we can upgrade our hunter tools if you have the right ingredients. We don't have either, good to know. You don't have anything else to say. Right, I'm assuming then it's best for us to go back to Ashbourne Village and uh, continue our exploration beyond where we killed the boss. As you've seen, there's danger in these warp plans beyond the mere mages. Gardens of these wild places remain, given strength by sovereign fear. They're not allies of the mages, but in seeking your demise, Let none stand in your path. Okay. Interesting. So I guess we'll head back to Ashbourne Village then. Um, 
I think you know it's it's interesting. Obviously, I like it's so early. Like it's hard to tell what the story is really truly going to be. But obviously, the basis is that obviously we've become a marked inquisitor, which means we have to fulfill our purpose in eliminating mages. Um, what it means overall, who knows? Oh, wrong way. Oh, talk to you. Don't swing at them. Hey there. You're an inquisitor, aren't you? Mage being right and all. Yes. So if you make your way up the cliffs just behind us, there's a tree at the very top. A talking tree. Tell me that you want to speak to someone who had devoured the heart of a mage. Have you done that? Devoured the heart of a mage? Perhaps it's time that you began your journey then. In the gatehouse below us, there's a burned corpse with a strange magical warp to it. If you divest the gold corpse, perhaps it could lead you to what pyromancer. Ah, this is the next bit then. See, by chance, I exited the game from the first episode. I only had like half an hour to record. So I exited the game just by chance, and then when I've loaded back in, it didn't bring me back to where I was, which was at the um, at the after the boss. And I'm now back in the town when reloading the game. So it's kind of been a nice coincidence, I guess, that it's managed to work out like this, but yeah. Iron at all because you can't say iron obviously, gotta be fancy. Named Mage Hunters Cover, Devour Arzan Tin. Follow the trail of embers to the Pyromancer, then defeat him and devour his heart. I see a Pyromancer that got himself Arzan Tin, reefed in Hellfire, his flames and gulp Ashmore Village, threatening to reduce it to naught but dust. It looks like there's like a percentage chance of things as drops then. Blaze Pyre, Suited Nails, Gel Sacks. Ash cake lungs and burning hearts. Begin. Ah, okay, we can open the gate. I wasn't up here because things were on the screen. Right, so we don't have to use the grappling hook to go through that anymore. Wait, that guy's back? What? Sealed. Devour one heart of a named mage to proceed. Whether I remember that or not is a different matter. Um, sweet. Thing is, I, I've my memory's completely gone already from when I recorded the first episode of Story or Not. Through when we first arrived and we went left because that was the only way we could go if there was grappling hooks and things that needed to be done. Uh, ooh, that looks interesting. Hello, talking tree. One before me climbed this hill so you can get in slaughter of mages. But the one before me is not yet slaughtered a mage. The one before me is not yet worthy. Devour the heart of mage. So after we've killed this first guy, the pyromancer, then we need to go and do the speaking to him and um, yeah okay hmm interesting I do wonder let us um let's head back this way briefly because you know we've got the gate open we'll see if there was from recollection I, I don't recall but I mean I'm recording late at night now it's yeah, it's like 11 p.m. It's it's not like I'm fully brain switched on as it goes. Bro. Jeez. That was a lot harder to kill. I swear they weren't that hard to kill before. Several wisp leaf and tender vines. Ah yes, you can just find this. Okay, so every time you reload the game, you can re-harvest things so you can get your heart. Ooh, what the hell? Is that? What's going on here? That was not there before. I am so confused what's happening here. Why is that here? Is this like a random occurrence or what? It explains why some of them were so much more difficult to kill. I'm expecting to get absolutely hammered here. You, where are you going? Oh, that's the Cryomancer guy. Is that the Cryomancer guy? Surely. He's going this way. Ow. 
Ow, Jesus. I'm forgetting low already. What the hell is going on? I'm so confused. So he's heading this way. What? Well, that's the pyromancer again, surely. To come together to fight each other? What? Ow. Alright. What the... I'm so confused. <laughs> um... Hello? Can't jump and get that, okay. Well, let's touch that. Let's cancel. I don't need to rest and resupply yet. What the hell is going on here? He's going down there. Why are they teleporting around so much? Are these supposed to be bosses or just interfering in general? I die. What? One well, name managed to do that. Oh, no, I need to go the other way with it. There we go. Hello. I've returned from Jenny's Rushmore village and just got what become of it. I had even forgotten about the village's warding seals. Many of the doors are impassable. Yep. While well, they still roam. Ah, okay. Hang on. You might have more to say. So, those black marks I'm seeing on the screen will guide us to either the Cryomancer or the Pyromancer. And we have to roam and kill them. You can just write an image. It's all truly, truly discovered rich site. You will gain its mastery of the village's warding seals. Okay, so there's a cryomancer and a pyromancer, which is what I've encountered, and that's what was messing me up so bad. Especially the ice one with the rapier. God damn, ruined me. Um, you know what, I am going to rest and resupply. That's, that's different, because I would have thought it would be like named bosses in the areas and stuff, you know? But I guess maybe not. And they're roaming, and you have to kill them. There'll be like standard bosses in the game, but then you have to kill like roaming mages and things as well. So these two are kind of at odds because pyromancy and cryomancy, ice and fire. Interesting. We just gotta keep chasing him. Right, like that. I don't need the health right now, it's fine. My bag. Ah, that was a big drop. It's cavern. I'm not really keeping track of the map as we're going here, but it's fine. Let's chase the guy. And now we find him as a boss, Arzan 10, the Ceaseless Fury. Um, okay, maybe I did need to rest him. Oh, but he's hurt. Ow. 
Okay, that's yeah, that's painful. Um, your parish, but the mage main right ties you to this world. Continue the hunt. Oh, because I've hurt him and chased him to his location. Then okay, so you chase the boss to the location and then to to finish them off, kind of thing. Interesting. Huh. I need crying mancers, guys. Though. The ones with the blue eyes. Wow, let's go. Ow. I died again. Jeez. Very close to the doorway there. I needed to roll through and get space. I think I'm, I'm too hack and slash happy at the moment. Let's uh, take our time. So we need. To, oh, okay, that's a great start. <laughs> you know what? I'm just going to top ourselves off just because you know it's probably going to help to be topped off. Swinging in slow, my baby. This is the problem though, there's like random enemies that will attack the guy at the same time. Ah. Ow. It's relentless, man. Jesus. the fire. Jesus, man. I feel like I should have leveled up or something, shouldn't I? <laughs> oh, dear. Rinse and repeat, right? I mean, we nearly had him. Throwing axes are pretty cheap, so... Seems like... The, the, the problem is, like, he's so relentless with the fire, like, there's not really a gap to properly swing. So I guess as long as I can do damage in time... We'll do another run, and then if not, we'll try and level up, I guess, but... I didn't think about it when we were in the town. I should have tried to level up. So he starts off fighting these guys, which is probably a good distraction, actually. I should probably let utilize the fact that they're there. Yeah. If I wasn't such an idiot. Press circle on the weakened mage. Okay. I've made that look so hard unnecessarily. Boom. So we divided him so we can go back to those doors before. Right, so we've got the pyromancer. Ammunitions, ash cake lungs and things. Some blaze fire. Blaze fire will be for like fire upgrades, I guess, and weapons. Alright, so let's circle on that. Uh, we don't need to rest and resupply because we've got four flasks. Oh wait, hang on. This is where we fought the guy previously, wasn't it? The first boss. So it was the exact same boss room. But I guess the idea was that you're supposed to go back to town and then come back. But I had that statue done already. Last time. Hmm. Interesting. I need the flame, I need the fury. Why do you strike my red? Why? It is my inquisitor's duty. But you call them just going, your banality is devoid of pure unbridled fury. There is no rage in your work. I needed fire. I needed to feel the flame, to smell the burning flesh. The cold is overwhelming. And he's dead. He's just some like random little crappy dude that had managed to gain the power of fire. So then there's the crying mantra as well that we now know of. Um, ah, this is where we got the grappling hook and then did the thing, yeah. So we don't need to go back down there. Presumably, anyway. Um... Through here? Crater stone mines. Ah, yeah, there was talk of a shortcut, wasn't there? 
Vamos lá. Page of Curses. Full man. One more heart to get. So I need to kill the cryomets to go through there. Interesting. For some reason that wind looks like it should take me up, but it doesn't. Alright. No worries. The flooring kind of blends into the background a bit, I'm not gonna lie, it's not it's not the clearest, but hey what are you gonna do, right? This is the way we came down to chase him from the other side, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it was. Ah, yeah, this is the way out from the washroom. Okay. We don't need to go down there necessarily yet. But we need to head back up to those doors that we saw before. That needs one mage heart to be consumed. I've not really decided how long I'm going to make these episodes yet, but um, it's not quite to like the grandeur, I guess, of say Elden Ring, where it feels right to make them like an hour long kind of thing. Christ, relentless! <laughs> the timings on the man—they were swinging just constantly while the guy was shooting. I couldn't really get out of my blocking. Mad. Uh, wait, can I teleport to like a different thing? Return to camp, return to the partners. Ah, okay, no, you can't. Interesting. That's why they reset then, because I was back at Pardon's Vale and I had to reactivate them. Hmm. Not a case of just teleporting between things then. I don't have a problem with that, to be fair. Makes some kind of sense as it goes. Um, this is the last one I've touched, this will be where I respawn. Uh, yeah, I see. Okay, right, we need to get back up to the town bit area thing. It is very easy to die in these sorts of games. Like, like Salt and Sanctuary, yeah, it was the same. Like, simple enemies, if they caught you in a certain combo or whatever, or you just had like a couple of them and they were timing their attacks in such a way like it literally was impossible to, to live. That's where we were before. Oh, that looks very interesting up there. I'm not going to grab the iron at all. Don't feel like it's a necessity as it goes, but yeah. Bam. Hello, back in the village. The actual village. Again, the swinging times as you dodge. Jeez. Brutal. Simple kills, but brutal at the same time. It's mad. Right, so we opened that door. There was one earlier, which I think I want to open first because that feels more like a progressing forward, whereas that other one probably feels like maybe story related. I don't know. Or like a character potentially or something. Ow. Suck it, boys. Oh, is there a door? Ah, no, yeah, we need to speak to the tree as well. Yeah, let's go speak to the tree. Before me is where to hear my voice. 
O Christ near and far, they awaken me, till the scythe, the perversion of reality encroaches. Speak the language of Miragate, will you follow it to Bolgaran? Yes. Carry to Bolgaran, exterminate that which threatens life. Ah, so a new rune, so it takes us to a new area. Cool. All about that, mate. Ow. That wasn't good. You. Yes. Please make your way up to the tree. Cool. You have nothing else to say to me. You useless fella. Aha, there's the other door. I didn't actually fully go the other way because I got distracted by the cryomancer that we saw before, didn't I? Um, okay. Let's go up here. Five iron ore. Why does this feel odd as a room? Mm -hmm. Take stone mines from a different perspective. That's a trap on the floor. Ah, this is where we saw the red thing. Okay. Shimmering bud and salt splinter. Dodge the trap. This actually should be like a shrine or something here. Like in Salt and Sanctuary, you had shrines in like open rooms like that. The rest of that. Ah. Throwing knives, diamond armor. Oh, well, I, I clicked a grappling hook. I saw the marker up here, but I guess I clicked too early. No. It's fine. We'll go grab our stuff. It's an unforgiving game, man. That's what we like to see. But I don't necessarily have an interest in fighting everything again. Bro, that's a jump and a half. Jesus. You got some legs on you. Right, we're here. Like this. That way we're closer. Yeah. Suck that, mate. We don't need full life. We were down. Here. And to here, there was a grappling hook there. Maybe it was the angle. Oh, God, I've done it again. <laughs> oh, I didn't realize it was straight another one. I, I got so confused. I got so like focused on the fact that maybe the angle you have to jump to be able to grapple hook that I just I didn't even think about it. So right back we go. It's a deaths episode, boys. It's, you know, it's 11 p.m. on a weekend, and you know, you've, you've got alcohol in your system. Yeah, yeah. You're not you're not quite about it as it goes. This is going to be longer than half an hour for sure because I don't feel like I've really done much. There we go. Boom. Set them free, I guess. Oh, hello. Well met, Inquisitor. Tell me, is your heart bright like the dawn? Sure. Should we meet you back at Partners Vale? Sick. You gonna talk again? No. Well, that was the significance of that. Um. Okay. Let's head back up. Before we continue through Ashbourne Village, let's head out toward. No, actually. Well, we may as well. I get the feeling the Cryomancer will retreat the other direction to the Pyromancer. Pyromancer, we went down back to that first boss room, and as expected, was kind of expected to be like the next boss, so to speak. 
from the way they talked about it, saying that you've got two options, but one's clearly the option. Fuck that, mate. Right, let's go in here. Arch Ridge District. Uh, this is definitely a new section, now that I think about it, but... Mm. Silver and a poison bomb. Oh, hello. Fencer's gear, that's one of the starting classes as well. Oh, we can jump that. Sure. Boom, small bag of- ooh, grappling hook as well. Come on, Reese, what can you do that? No, that's too far. Boom, don't even have to fight him if you don't want to. It's very suspect, it's just random black marker that looks like an explosion. Um, I'll tell you what. Sorry, this this episode is so chaotic. I feel like we're progressing in a completely different direction. I want to go back and explore the other way now, just in case. Um, yeah, apologies. We'll need to go speak to that person in the village as well. I think we've brought them back to Pardon the Vale. See you later, boys. God, they got some fucking beans on them then when they jump. Jesus. Let's keep going. Even if we die, it don't matter. We don't care. So we came this way. And then we saw the cryomancer. gone well. Yeah, we came this way because we were like, oh, perhaps there's a grappling cook I need to do. Mr. Ice Donnie was over here just chilling like, you know? Nothing there, yeah. Jeez. Not my brightest moment as it goes. Just gotta hit them up when they jump, just take control, be the alpha. Swing before you get swung on. Interesting. Okay. Well, if we... If we head back to the Pardoners Vale, I'll speak to the guy, and go down the Ash Ridge District as well, I guess. That's something. My brain is very fuzzy. Just, yeah. Don't get a lot of time to record these days as it goes, compared to what I used to. Uh, let's return to camp. Go find this dawn light person or whatever. Hello, you. I don't think she's at the east, it would seem. Forgive me if I express a little surprise. Before the warp took Alter Stone in its grip, already Bolgaram's rumored to be plagued by foul magic. What's all the mage there? They basically use the key to its lies within there. Okay. Alrighty then. 
Good stuff here. Where's this light, Donnie? Go. What's the question? Not gonna be over here. They're just chilling still. Ah, level up. Insufficient salt. 239, we have near 400. Well, you know, it'd help if I stopped dying all the time, I guess. Okay. We definitely have enough to upgrade again. A helmet's obviously the best on the armor in general because it's heavier than everything else. Um, no, so I'll upgrade that again, so we'll do that. Why not? Get the damage boost early on. Have a to upgrade these properly. Ooh, we can. Flasks go up to six now. Nice. Locked. It's not open from this side. Cool, man. So we can go to that new area or we can continue through. Aha. Is this already open? No, it was not. Appreciate you to the Dawn Light Order. I bestow upon you a pale candle. Use it to aid any who require help for that is the greatest calling. Sunlight Night Beatrice. So you can buy from Dawnlight Armor. Okay. Seems to have very good dark resistance, which is good. Potentially. So that dawn draws us from the horrors of the night. Your blade shall rescue your fellow inquisitors from peril. Okay, that's it. That's what you've got to say. Cool. So we can basically cooperate with players now. Um, well, this episode doesn't feel like it's accomplished a lot, actually. But, um, we will leave it there. So leave a like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed. I'll catch you in the next one, guys. Take care.